I mean, if you're asking like what's special about Street Fighter, I mean, maybe maybe take a little step back. And what's yeah. special about fighting games before you get too far into it? And the thing is, first of all, they're one-on-one, -on -one, and there's a lot of competitive games that are team-based. But that it's one-on-one -on -one means you know it's all on you. There's no one else to blame, and uh, that that alone is like really hardcore. Like there, <laughs> you know, if your ego is going to be bruised, a one-on-one -on -one game is not for you because. There's no, no, no one to point to by yourself, right? Um, also, there's no concept of leveling up or experience points or any of that stuff. So there's like a there's a level playing field. It's not like a you know World of Warcraft or something where some guy has better gear than you. So that's another area in which there's nowhere to run or no one to blame. You, you know, you, you can't say, oh well, he he had a level 60 Chun Li or something. You know, no, he has the same ability to pick Chun Li that you do. So the, this this level playing field one on one uh, is like a, a crucible or so or something that, that, that just it's so intense the competition it creates uh, and kind of a life lesson I've I've taken from the game is when you see Street Fighter players compete as hard as they can at these tournaments it, it's a true meritocracy it's whoever is better wins. You know, it doesn't matter what race they were or what background they were or, you know, none, none of that, or who they knew or something. Um, the, the tournaments that I, I've been involved with for over 10 years have all been open tournaments, and that, that's critical. They're, they're not invitation only, they're open, open to all comers. And that, that is what makes them legitimate, that, <laughs> you know, the best player really will win. And that's... That's not how it is in a lot of areas of real life. You know, in real life, it, it, it can very much be about who you know, or things that don't have anything to do with your ability. Um, and so, by seeing a world where it really is all about your ability, it makes our normal, real life look all the worse a lot of the times. And when I when I think, why can't this be more like the Street Fighter world? Why can't this be more about who? was the best student or who was the best artist or game designer or whatever it is.